So we're going along the side of the ladder. Within this activity, the coach is developing running technique with an overstriding movement. A straight leg starts under the body and propels the body forward with a downward force. The opposite leg extends with a high knee drive. In this instance, the coach encourages the players to stay in flight as long as possible. First one, we're just going out to these markers here. Okay, A and B, you go round, just jog back. C and D, you're coming back. First group, go. 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 Get your balance. We'll build it up. We'll build it up until we're really going here. Let's watch my friend again as he builds it up. Off you go. So increase it, increase it. Wider, 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 wider. The coach guides the players to widen their supporting base in the direction of the force in order to keep their center of gravity within its limits and not going off balance. Start the overstride now. Start to really go for it. Excellent. Next grip. Next grip. Okay, just hold it there a wee second. What I'm getting, I'm getting this here, long stretch, but I'm not picking the knee up. Look, look at the difference when I pick the knee up. You do it again, watch the knee pick up. The coach reinforces the importance of the high knee drive, drive, which is the drive, critical drive, aspect push, of effective push, running push, technique. Push, push. Okay, back you go, let's go. So reach, 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 reach. Notice how the drive. coach integrates the long stride Good. action Extra. into a holistic running reach, technique reach, as the activity reach, progresses. Reach, reach. Drive. Good. Now what can we do in the ladders to make our legs move quicker? Fast feet. Let me see fast feet on the spot. Come on, work it, work it. Arms, arms, arms. And stop. In this exercise, the coach takes the approach of encouraging a narrow base of support. He does this because the focus of the activity is speed of limb. Within this bilateral movement, the foot is lifted and returned to the floor as fast as possible with a very low knee action arms and legs working together, with arms performing a short, sharp chopping movement. The coach guides players to keep their head up, looking straight ahead. Understriding activities are to develop players with a long, slow stride in order to promote long, fast stride. When we look at the elite athlete, we see how quality time invested in these important running techniques has paid off. Notice how this athlete reduces rotation of the shoulders and upper body by focusing with eyes straight ahead and head movement limited, which is now automatic. During this activity, athletes have to keep the alignment of ankle, knee and hip for an efficient running technique. Why do you think we were doing the overstride? Having utilised the ladders to develop speed and accuracy of the limbs, the coach now introduces hurdles to promote efficient feet placement. I'm now going to work on where do you plant the feet. I'm going to give you three options. You, just, you think about what I'm doing. A lot of runners hit in front of the body. That's one. Some runners hit in onto their body when their stride comes down, and some hit behind the body. So where do you reckon the best place would be for momentum? Yeah. So you want to hit here. Why do you not want to be hitting out there? You're on balance, that's going to throw you off. Why do you not want to be hitting behind? You're not going to get the push of the momentum. So we're going to do a wee drill, and it's called up and over, where we're going to be walking to start with, lifting our leg up and bringing it down. So the technique is that. So there's one leg action. How many arm actions are there there? Right, so I'm coordinating the arms and legs. First group, go. Second group, go. Third group, go. In this hurdles activity, players are asked to move up one side of the hurdles, working the leg closest to the hurdle with an up, over and down movement. Double arm action as the foot comes down. A and B down this side. Hold it and we'll go with the right leg. Let's watch my friend again. The coach uses peer feedback to highlight ineffective arm movement and encourage the group to focus on arm movement as well as leg movement. Yeah, happy enough with the leg action? Did you hear the feedback? Leg action was superb, arms weren't working. Next group, go, as soon as you hit the ladder. That's good here, this is good here. Beautiful arms, look at the leg coming up and the arms working. That's excellent, that's excellent. 
Now do it in the way back, even higher. Imagine it's really up high, really pick the knee up high. Imagine it's a high hurdle in the way back. Really up, up and down quick. Jog a wee bit between it. So it's, it's that action we're looking for. The coach isolates one leg to ensure an explosive movement of the knee to 90 degrees with a toe pointing up. The ball of the foot is driven into the floor in order to generate force which is supplied directly under the centre of gravity. 9.5, yeah, he's nearly got it. He'll give you 9.5 for that. Notice how the arms and legs are working in unison with the arms performing a double arm action for every stride. Now here I want to put it all together. We're looking for the arm action, feet down quick. We're looking for the nice flow head looking at the top screen, head not moving. On your marks, go! The coach finishes this activity by incorporating all the elements of efficient running into a straight sprint. Go! 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 OK, that's it, lads. Now look at the elite athlete. See the efficiency of the double arm action for every knee drive, core engaged with limited movement of the head and adopting good posture.